What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna teach you guys how to build this auto equipper and armor room. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you is this original design by QB. As you can see, the button is on the floor and the dispenser is in front of the chest. This is a very easy method for achieving an automatic equipment equipper. I took this design and modified it slightly to allow for the button to be on the wall and use two chests instead of one. I also wanted a way to just throw the items into a hopper without opening a chest. As you can see, the redstone aspect is almost identical. I just extended this wool to reach the dispenser over here. The button is on the side instead of on the top and there are now two chests that feed into the dispenser. Now that you know how it works, let's build the room. The first thing I'm going to show you is what you need to make this redstone work. 14 wool, redstone comparator, 11 redstone dust, block of gold, 2 chests, a spruce button, 6 hoppers, dispenser, and some carpet. These other materials are what I will use to decorate and build the room out of. You can use whatever you feel works for you. Feel free to customize this as you see fit. These are not exact amounts either, just an approximation. Okay, first we need to make the base of the room. I'm using polished andesite as the base. First, build five blocks in a row like this. Add two more like so, three like this, and two more. Now, going the opposite direction, build five more blocks this way. Continue doing this all the way around. Feel free to use this as a guide when building the circle of the base. Now, using your wool, build up against any side of your circle like this. Put one on top in the middle and get rid of the bottom one. Build three like so. Now, dig out four down and three across. Dig one block deeper on the three in the corner. Now place your wool down like this. Now, place redstone like so. Place your comparator facing this direction. Click once on it after placing it. You should see this light up. Now, place your dispenser here. Use hoppers and shift click to attach them to the dispenser. Build three hoppers coming out from each side in an L shape. Use shift click to place your chests like so. Now, using whichever block you like, place them here. Build this up like so as a temporary guide and place your button block here. Be sure there is a space between the wool and the gold block. Get rid of your guide blocks. Place your button on the side here. It should now be functional. Test it out and be sure it works before continuing. It's important to use a wooden button as it allows to empty everything in the dispenser out with one press. Using a log, go up six blocks on each corner. Using planks, begin to build up the walls. Place five planks in front of your hoppers and dispensers like so to hide them. I like to use logs here. A 
I'll put some stone stairs between them. Begin hiding the rest of your redstone with planks. It may appear that I've moved further along surrounding the redstone, but that was a mistake I made during recording. You didn't miss anything. I'll explain how we got there a little bit later. Place carpet over the dispenser and hoppers. I like to use different colors to differentiate between them. I'm using andesite stairs to outline the planks. You can use anything you like. Slabs work well here as well. Finish building up the walls. I build up three more blocks before placing more polished andesite to break up the design of the walls. Finish by putting another level of planks on top. Now, make some windows to add natural light in. Build the planks out from your button block like so. You want to put a block behind your chest so as not to see the redstone behind it. Be careful to leave a full block above all your wool blocks. Connect these to the wall and be sure you leave the space empty. If you put a block here, it will prevent the redstone from working. We will cover this up with the stairs soon. I'm actually going to use a redstone lamp here in place of the gold block. I like the way it lights up when you push the button. Place inverted stairs above the chests. You must use stairs here as a full block will prevent them from opening. Use stairs to cover the sides and the missing block from earlier. Using slabs, begin to build the roof by placing these like a staircase. Continue building out like so. As you see, we're missing a space here. I'll use a stone staircase on top of the lamp to cover it up. Finish building the roof with the slabs. Place a few lanterns here for light. You're pretty much done with the auto equipper. Be sure to test it out once more to be sure nothing was broken in the process. As you can see, you can just throw your items onto the blue carpet and the hopper will dispense them into the dispenser. Now to finish the rest of the room. I like to use item frames on the logs here to show which chest can be used for what. Armor in the left, weapons in the right. This is purely aesthetic, however, as both chests feed into the same dispenser. Now I'll use strip logs to make the floor. Add a couple chests in here for more storage. Next I'm going to build some platforms for armor stands.
add some more item frames. Next I'll use fences like this on each side to attach lanterns to. I like to add a few more barrels for aesthetic purposes and more storage. Add a door as well and replace these andesite blocks with logs to add to the effect. Add a window and use an axe to make path blocks coming from the door. I'm using path blocks here instead. Add some leaves to add more detail to the outside. Add lanterns to the outside as well. I'm using green stained glass blocks for the window. Use stair blocks to add depth to your windows. Do the same on the inside as well. Add another level of planks to your wall. Now, using stairs, begin to outline the building. I talk a little more about roof building in another video linked here if you'd like more help with this. Now, using slabs, place them on top of the planks like so. Build from the side and up like so. Do this all the way around.
Continue doing this until you get close to the top. Now, connect them together like so and your roof is done. Add lanterns for more life on the inside of your roof. Use coarse dirt, trap doors, dead bushes, and leaves to create this aesthetic plant in your armor room. Now, let's test it out one last time to make sure it works properly. As you can see, now I am fully equipped with armor and weapons. If you like to use the hoppers, you can just point your cursor at the blue carpet, press E, and then hold Q while you click your armor and weapons. They will fall into the hopper and into the dispenser for next time. Your automatic armor room is now complete. Feel free to customize how you see fit. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And don't let the notification bell hit you on the way out.